Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today's video is going to be my white ink comparison video. So let's go ahead and have a go. Okay, so I have my four different kinds of white ink here. I actually think they're all the same, as in I think they're all the same kind of ink. These are all pigment inks. As far as I'm aware, I've had a bit of a read. So this is the Versacolor. This is probably the one I've had the longest. It says water-based ultimate pig pigment ink pad, suitable for embossing and stenciling. I've got my Versa Magic, which says opaque pigment ink gives a permanent powder finish even on dark papers. Well, that's where we're going to be using it. I have my Kaiser Ink White Pigment Ink which is perfect for general purpose stamping techniques, stenciling and other mixed media effects. And I have my brand new Hero Hues Unicorn White Pigment Ink, an all around crafting pigment ink for embossing, general stamping and scrapbooking. Okay, there's the four. We're gonna give it a go using a blending tool. Hold on, using a blending brush, a blending tool, stamping with something kind of fine. And then I've got like a background stamp here that has got a bunch of words on it. I think that's going to give me, actually I think those words are probably the wrong thing. Hold up, I wanted a background stamp, something that's sort of not as, as delicate. So I'm going to use this stripey one instead. This is called Paint Strokes from Kayser Craft. I'm just going to put that on my block, ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to give each of them the same go. I have two different coloured papers here. I've got black because I want to see how it looks on black. And I've got a pink just to sort of see how it works on a slightly lighter colour. And I'm hoping that's going to give me a good indication of each piece. So I'll just move it off. I'm going to start with the Versa colour because to me that's the oldest. So therefore it's probably going to be the one that's not going to work the nicest. But anyway. Um, I'm going to use the same tool each time. I'm just going to wipe it off. I think that's fair. Um, this is my Versa, sorry, this is my white pigment brush. I've only ever used it with white pigment, so it's got no other colour on it, and this is a brand new foam pad. So I'm going to start off with the foam pad. You guys know I'm not that great with the foam pads, but I just want to give it a shot. Yeah. I can tell there's something on it, but it's not... I can tell more on the glass than I can on the... There we go. Than on the paper. Yeah. I can tell there's something there, but I'm not particularly impressed with it. That's a little better. But then I'm probably putting it... I'm much better with the brush than I am with the ink tool, so we'll, that's giving me a much better coverage. I'm still, um, I'm still a little iffy as to if I would ink blend with white though, so maybe it's sort of a moot point, but I did say moot, I didn't say moot, I did not do the friends. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm sort of a bit funny when it comes to ink blending with white, I'm sure there's a reason I would. Let me know. If you know why I would ink blend with white, let me know down below. So then we'll check the stamp, like we'll see how it goes stamping. So this is a Heidi Swap quote out of one of, I got it from Spotlight. It just says making memories together. So we'll just put that. Yeah, that's not, I wouldn't be happy with that if I stamped it on a card or on a scrapbook page. That would kind of annoy me. And then we'll try the background stamp, which I assume is going to be the same. But I expect it to come up like my other ink colours and stuff do. That's sort of what I'm expecting. I'd be interested to see if we get that anywhere along the way. It's subtle, but you can see it. I think what I'll do is just write on all of them which each of them are, and that way I can kind of come back and compare. Like I'll give it five minutes or ten minutes or whatever to leak into the, into the paper and be what it needs to be. So I'm just going to really quickly just write on here what each of these are. So we do the exact same thing with the black. I don't know how much you guys want to see my reactions to this so I'll make reactions and we can decide if they're good reactions or not reactions. So moving on back to the ink, not the ink, the um, foam pad. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. Because it's got the same ink I'm not wiping it off really hard in between but I'll do that between the inks that's better that's a lovely blend actually it blends on really nicely that's not a bad stamp that's not a bad stamp I'm just gonna do the bottom edge of this just so I don't waste quite so much ink if 
that actually looks kind of cool. It's almost ghost-like, which I guess is the kind of the point. Oh, and I can write on here. Not very well, but white pen. All right, so I'm gonna leave those off to the side and we'll move on to the next one. That's actually stamped really well on the black. Like I'm, I'm impressed. Impressed, not the right word, but I would be satisfied if that was what came back. Whereas I'm not so happy with the way it's come up on the pink. I think you can really only tell with the brush. All right, next one. All right, I've given each of them a really good clean off so that they continue to compare nicely. And I don't sort of tarnish my results anywhere. So this is the Kaiser Craft one. I think. This one is probably the cheapest one overall. I reckon one, cheap wise, one, two, three, four, but I will do, I'll put the prices down below so you can sort of get a better idea of which is, which was, is the cheapest. So this is the Kaiser Craft one onto the colored paper. I can barely tell. You can when you move it around in the right light, but barely, very barely. We'll go with the white blending brush. You can tell a bit more there but still not, not anything I'd write home about. Oy. I am trying to like give them the same amount of, I'm trying to load it up with the same amount of ink. Obviously that's not going to be 100% perfect every time, but I am trying to be as fair as I can be with the way I ink everything up. I would say at this point that the Kaiser Craft one on the coloured paper is barely worth it. You can tell there's something there. You just can't, you just can't sort of tell a lot. So do the same thing on the black. I want to be able to see something, which I can, I can see that. It's just not, it's just not opaque, which I know it's not supposed to be, is it? For general purposes. Now I know these ink pads are only like $5, so you can probably forgive it a little bit. And I can build this up, like I'm building that up, that white up a lot. It's much better on the black paper than it is on the pink paper. But I'm still not particularly happy with it. Do the stamp again. Make sure I do it the right way up, that helps. That's better. It's much better than it was on the pink, but it is fading a little bit as it dries, which is why I'll show you all again when everything is dry so that you can see again the proper sort of finished comparison. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean all of this up again and then we'll come back for the Versa Magic. So this one is different. It says that it's a chalk ink. So it is a um, opaque pigment ink, but it's got a powder finish. So I'm interested to see if this one is different. This is the one, I guess, I haven't, I've only seen good things about the, the Hero Arts one. This is the one I expect the best results from, from the ones I already have. So I'm just inking that up. It's certainly better, but it's sort of, at least with the, the foam, it sort of more feels like I'm sliding it around. Like once it's on there, I'm kind of pushing the ink, whereas the others didn't feel like that. They felt like they were actually sitting on the page. This sort of feels like it's sitting on top of it and I'm playing around with what's there, if that makes sense. You can see the streak lines a little bit easier on here, whereas, and I'm, I won't compare them to each other yet. My paper's also making the thing go pink, but anyway. So moving on to the brush. See this one you can kind of, you can kind of see what I mean a little bit more. It's like it's wet, or well it is wet, and it's moving, I'm just pushing the ink around. But it is buildable. I don't think it gives you as nice a blend even than the, but it is a lot more opaque. But can you see how I've got those lines there? Like you can tell that's where the, the bristles have been. Hmm. Interesting. That's a really nice opaque finish. I, I don't particularly like the, the way it's sort of pooling there, but that's more my stamping technique than the, than the ink. It does, it does feel a bit wet. It does feel a bit wet. Right up. On to the black. Get that ink blending tool again. Just for a minute there, I thought I'd done it on the wrong thing, but I haven't. 
so it is still kind of just moving it around it doesn't give you as nice I don't think it blends as nicely even as the Kayser Craft, but it's just a different finish, I guess. It is much more opaque though. I'm trying to be a little bit less heavy handed this time, try and not get that pulling, and that's much better. And that's probably the best stamp I've got so far using those, using that word one. That's much better. That's the first real crisp one I've got. So for stamping so far, this one's winning. Hmm. Just going to be a fun comparison when we put them all together. All right, clean up time. And then we're going to move on to the Hero Arts one, which I'm actually really excited. I'm really excited because you've only, I've only ever heard good things about the Hero Arts Unicorn Pigment. So I'm hoping it lives up to the expectations. Load that up. That already looks wetter than all the others. Oh, oh. Oh wow. Okay, it's doing that thing though that it sort of sits on the top and I'm moving the ink that's on there around. But wow, that is okay. I'm wondering, I don't know if I can get it to fade. I, I can never get it to fade with an ink, with a foam tool anyway, so I'm not gonna stress out about that. I can definitely see the sort of marks where I've been blending, but holy moly, that's opaque. Sheesh, living up to expectations so far. All right, number two with the with the brush. Wow. So again, it is it is moving once it's on the page. I can't. It's not a smooth kind of blend. I can see it, but the more I'm working it, the more I think it's just when it's drying. But it isn't. It isn't a hundred percent smooth. It kind of looks like um the paint strokes in one of the, that what's this the scary night one. Like the really famous painting of the, the guy who's scared in the dark. I don't know. I'm not very good with art, you can tell. Um, it's kind of got that kind of finish to it, but it looks lovely. Like it's really opaque. So move on to the stamps. That's pooling a little bit on the side, so I wouldn't say that's the best stamp, but I want to see how it dries. Let me see how it dries. Yeah, it's pooling a little bit on the side. For blending, it's winning by a long way. It's stamping not quite so much on that pink. Okay, moving on last but not least to the black. For blending, I think this is winning quite comfortably. And actually, once you sort of get the hat, get the, the liking of it, you can kind of, that, that pull of the ink doesn't look too bad. Definitely okay. Look at it with the brush. I'm just gonna come down a little bit further here a little bit too far across with the with the blending tool you can sort of get some patterns there with if you wanted to give it a little bit extra texture but just look at that glow on the side like look how soft that blend is and I know that's got a little bit to do with the brush as opposed to the ink but I want to see that compared to the others because I've done the others the exact same way it's really pretty really pretty okay stamping I feel like I'm being harsh on it because I can see how much ink I've got on there but I did with all the others so you can only do what I can do that's not pooling as badly as the other ones did but it is still pooling that's better it's better than the last one it's not pooling as much all right I'm going to clean all this up and then we're going to have a look at all of them side by side on the different colors so we can compare them one by one all right so I've lined them all up so we can kind of compare these to each other looking on the pink paper so this is on colored cardstock or colored um it's not, it's not cardstock, it's not paper, it's somewhere in between. Basically, I'd go with the Versacolor and the Kazercraft are useless on the coloured paper, especially the Kazercraft. If you're looking for a really subtle kind of stamp, yeah, I can see it, but I think that's too subtle. I think you've got to really have a look, and I'll put some zooms in so you can see how subtle that is. The Versacolor is a little bit better. You can, you can see that, but I don't... I still don't think it's worth it if you're looking for a white ink, but these are my opinions, of course, so feel free to ignore them, but this, this, what, this is what I think. Um, when it comes to the blending, I don't think either of them, you could probably get away with the Versacolor with a brush if you really needed to, but to me, on colour, they're really not worth it. When you come to the black, you actually get a really good crisp stamp with both 
of these and I feel like you get a really decent color payoff with the brush. I don't think the Kayser Crafts really worth it. It, it. it is, but it's it's fine. It's just not... Comparing the two, I'd go the Versacolor of those ones. Now, to kind of give you a price comparison here, these two are comparable. So this one is $6 at Spotlight and this one's $5.99 at Kayser Craft. Obviously, this is a small one. If you got a bigger one, it would be slightly more expensive. But price-wise, these two are comparable. Price-wise, these two are comparable. So the Versa Magic, you can get it for $10 at like Arts and Crafts Online, or you can get it from $15 at Spotlight. This one, you can buy it for $10.43 from Hero Arts in the States. That's with today's com um, conversion rate. Uh, but then you've got to pay for shipping or you can just pay $12.50 from Dawn and Dawn can get it for you. Um, there's obviously other places to get these, but these are the prices that I sort of went with. So these two are comparable on price. These two are comparable on price. Maybe I'm being too harsh comparing these two to these two. But I would quite happily not have these two for those results. I don't think that they're worth it. Although I do really like the crispness of the stamp on the Versacolor. I feel like you got a good finish. This one's winning of these two. Anyway, so we'll, we'll knock the Kayser ink off and we'll say, yeah, no, you're not comparing anymore. Let's move on to the next ones. So when we're looking at the pink, I feel like I need to be a bit harsh on, I don't know whether it's me or the stamp, but it, it was a little wetter. It's still wet now and it's been sort of five minutes. Um, so I didn't get as nice a stamp, even comparing to the... The Versacolor here, I don't think it's as good a stamp, but that could be my technique as opposed to the actual ink. It does feel wetter though on the brushes and everything. Blending wise, I don't think it's worth it at all for the using the ink blending tool, but using the brush you can definitely get a good colour payoff. But when you compare it to what you get with the Hero Arts with both the, the ink tool and the brush tool, I think this wins kind of really comfortably. It's also got a slightly nicer stamp, but only just. Only just, but I would give the color to the Hero Arts, but only by a tinsy bit. Moving on to the black though. How good is that? Like that's just, you could almost call that a white piece of paper. Almost, not quite. But that's, the opaqueness of this ink is just insane. Obviously you need to be a little bit less harsh when you're stamping down, because I think this one gave me a more crisp impression. Um, I'm looking at it honestly. The opaqueness is just no contest really. Like that, the Hero Arts is winning that by a long way. It's just more the, the technique of stamping that. And that's still wet, same as this one. This one's still wet too. So you'd probably leave it a little bit longer. Oh, I think this is a little crisper, but I think the opaqueness is here. So. I'm going to give it to the Hero Arts, but only just. Only just. Only just. And I think I could get better at my stamping technique. So that would kind of help. So if, if you're then comparing these two, then there's no then there's no contest. Then it kind of wins really, really easily just comparing these two. The, yes, it is crisper, but you're just not getting the colour payoff for the Versa colour, in my opinion. So the Hero Arts, to me... Is, is exactly why I bought it because it is as far as I'm aware the best white pigment ink on the market um, obviously there are a lot of other white pigment inks that you can get I'm only comparing four I'm only comparing four of probably 400 but I reckon you get some good results and that's not a bad price it's a good like 12.50 is a really good price for a for an ink pad that's that's a good price for any ink pad let alone one that's going to give you results like this so there we go, there's our white ink comparison. If you have another kind of white ink that you think is just the bee's knees, please let me know because then I can have a look at it and sort of see if I can compare it to the Hero Arts. For now though, this is the one that I'm going to stick with. I'm not going to go and throw these away. They've got uses. I can use them in my craft room without any kind of a problem. But it's nice to know which one is better for certain kinds of things. And definitely for ink blending, this is probably better. Maybe I use the Versacolor for more stamps um, or more fine stamps because it gives me that nice impression. So that's a good thing to know. 
it's a good thing to sort of have the comparison there and be able to go well this is what I would use for this and this is what I would use for that but yeah if you have any suggestions of other kinds of white ink leave it down below or you can find me on any of my socials if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have a another color that you want to see me try like maybe some blacks I've got a bunch of black inks now um, if you want to see like a comparison between those please let me know I'm happy to do that video as well hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day whatever you get up to and I will catch you in my next video sending lots of huggles bye